All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, it's time for us to talk entertainment. I have you with me, an actor, uh, award-winning one for that matter, Tokbe Tedela. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Yes, um, you've 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 been around for quite a bit now. Uh, that being relative, actually, but I mean, you won you won the AMVC in 2014, yeah. which is uh, three years ago. Yes, that's 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 puts you almost <laughs> almost in veteran status. How long have you been acting for? That's always a hard question to yeah. answer. But my first really major taste of acting, like being in a role and performing extensively, was in 2006 on a TV show called Edge of Paradise. No. Oh. Yes. I played Julian, who eventually had HIV AIDS and um, he was in a cult. Yeah, but that was 2006. That's wow. Yeah. But you also you were an OAP at some point. Yeah, I mean, while I was in school, from like my second year till maybe a year after I was done with school, I was presenting on, um, on, on the radio station in my school then. And yeah. I did some, I did, I did a little stint at um, another radio station. Okay. Yeah, in so radio. was acting always going to be the, the case for you? <sighs> or were you one of those who just dabbled? Into not, it? not really dabbled. I was one of those who was perpetually confused. And who was dancing from place to place today? I could, you could ask me because it sounded cool. I wanted to be an aeronautical engineer, <laughs> and then tomorrow you could ask me, and I could tell you I wanted to be an accountant. So I just used to go up and down. But I remember that I always had this love for performance. I mean, films used to speak to me, books used to speak to me. I used to read a lot of novels back in the day, and when I read the novels, I I, I just picture being those characters that I read about. I read I read a Robert Ludlum novel. And I, I, I see maybe it's Jason Bond character or any other character. I'm like, just imagine how it would be being that guy. And yeah, I, I eventually found myself in, yeah. in acting. So when did, you, did you start acting from 2006 and continue from then? Or when did you come back? Okay, so 2006, I, I was in university, you know, and school was suffering at some point because I would have to jump out and come back. And I wanted to get my degree. I just wanted to finish. I didn't want to start and not finish. So at some point... I think around 2008, late 2008, I decided that, okay, I'm just going to take a break. I think I can come back to this. Let me just focus on finishing school, and then I can now know that I can pursue this thing for the rest of my life. Did you study theatre? No, uh -huh. I didn't. I wanted to study theatre. But um, you hear things like study a more professional course. And it's really, to fall back it, on. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it, looking back, I think it's one of the most ridiculous advice you can give to a person. But I didn't study theatre. I studied mass communication, actually. Okay. Yeah. So did you have a stint at, at NTA from what I hear? Yes, I did. Okay. I did. I, did. I, I worked in NTA for, for, for about a year. I was a newscaster. You were reading the news? Yeah, I was reading the news. <laughs> <laughs> I was what reading was the this? News. Can we find tapes? <laughs> I, 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 that, that might be difficult. <laughs> that, that might be difficult. It was in Nasara. I okay. was doing my service here. Really, okay. Yeah, that, that was what I did. Was it? Uh, that was having interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I fought for it because I just didn't want to sit around. Okay. It's very, very possible. We just so go you did there. your NYSE at NCA? Yes, I did oh, NYSE okay. at NCA. Okay. And I asked to be a caster and they auditioned me and they were, you know, grumbling. But I persisted and they, they gave me so the you're in the local news there? Yeah. The, yeah, 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 in English. Yeah. In English, yeah. Interesting. That, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. I didn't see, yeah, <laughs> I didn't see I, that I, one yeah, coming. I'll do it. So I'll is this something it. you thought you think you can ever go back to? Uh, I mean, you never say never. I have the ability to do it, but it's not everything you have the ability to do that you sort of pursue and pursue and, and all of that. So you yeah. don't want to dispel all your energy in different, in different places. So, yeah. yeah. So, 2014, let's talk about 2014 when everything changed and the profile just went, poof, right. you won the EMVC. Take us through that process for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I've been doing a lot of work before then. I've been doing short films here, help out someone here, and just do things. And a friend who had done a short film for told me that a friend of his was going to do a film. Um, so he told me to go audition for the person. The person turned out to be Eric Ahimian, the okay. director of the film. So I auditioned, I read the screenplay. It was an action drama. And I'd really never seen a very, very well-made action you know, drama at that point. And I told Eric at that point, that, guy, let's just do a drama film. Take out all this action. Just write a good story and let's do it. I would work. But he said, no, he showed me a short film he had done. And it looked really, really good. And I'm like, okay, I'm down for this. Let's do this. And we, we, we did it with blood and sweat. Myself, Sambasa and Zeri Bay, um, and every other person who worked on the project. It was really, really months, about three months of, of, of very, very serious work. And then we did it and we forgot about it. In fact, at some point, I thought that the film would never come out because things like that happen where you do a project, but things just happen and it never... But eventually the film was released and it was well received and 
next thing, Eric calls me up one day, and I was on his set. He called me that, man, there's this award thing that they invited him for. Will I like to come along? I'm like, yeah, sure. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. Let's go. And we went for the event, and it was the AMVCA nominee announcement. And I'm sitting there, and they had called all the names. They had called Majid Mitchell, um, Lomla Dandala. They called other people. And I wasn't expecting anything. I just went there to just chill. Like, let me just talk. So let me see what's going on here. And I hear my name, and I am <laughs> dumbfounded. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. Like, what? And yeah, that, I mean, that's been, that, 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 that was it really. I mean, being nominated was crazy enough. You know, yeah, exactly. I, I was just, yeah, I, I was just fine. I'd bad as it bad. I mean, nominated. Yeah, you know. Then you won. Then I won. <laughs> then, then, then I won. Then I won. <laughs>